Welcome to Deutsch Math September newsletter. We're dealing with Algebra 1 problems. There are four types of Algebra 1 problems that's at core of ninth grade math. And what we're doing here is counting age. It's a second type of counting where the timeline is involved. Taylor's father is three times as old as Taylor. Four years ago, his father was four times older than Taylor. What are their ages? So let's get on to our blackboards and so let's solve this problem. Solution. Okay. So for this problem, I want to remind our viewers that uh, I advocate the three-step, uh, four-step problem, four-step method. There's step one where we define the variables. Step two where we decode or translate decoded the secret. Step three, we actually solve the equations and step four is where we double check. Okay. So I'll follow this one pretty closely. Let's see step one. We're gonna assume that uh, Taylor's father is father's current age. Now, in dealing with this type of question where the counting age or anything that involves timeline, it's very important to what you know what the variable is defined in years before, current age at 12 o'clock, whatever it is, you have to make sure what the timeline is and the variable is defined in that timeline. It doesn't really matter where it is, but so long you know what it is. That's what the important thing is. So here we're going to say it's Taylor's current. Now you notice I took um, I take an extraordinary effort to write out the variables. I don't just put F and E or um, F and T in this case. The reason is the more clear or the clearer you can get on the variable step one here, the better chance you'll have in decoding the messages from the words. Now let's read it. It says that Taylor, Taylor's father, is three times as old as Taylor. Since next sentence says four years ago, okay, we'll assume that this one is current, current state. So from here, what I want to do is I want to go in there and drag an equation out of this one. Okay, Taylor's father, his age is F from our definition over here, uh, th is three times equal to three times as old as Taylor. Well, how old is Taylor? Taylor right now is T. Okay, so first the equation we have, let's write on the side, is three times T. Second sentence, it says four years ago, his father was four times as old, old, good, okay, as old. So let's go back in there now, now let's drag an equation out of this one. Four years ago, how old was his father four years ago? Well, since we clearly defined that Taylor's father current age is F, so four years ago his father is four minus S. Okay, F minus four. So four years ago, he's this old. He was four times as old. Now, here's the trick of this entire problem. If everything else is making sense up till now, pay attention to this four, year, four times as old. Now, four years ago, Taylor's age is not T. Taylor's age is T minus four. Okay. Now, I can't emphasize it enough. Many, many of my students coming through the door forget this step. Four years ago, Taylor is not T. He is growing. He is gotten four years older. So four years ago, he's T minus four. So here's our second equation. F minus four is equal to T times T minus four. Okay, getting through the second step, um, now we go on to step three. 
I'll pick the blue. So now we're in the green zone or a blue zone. It's it's the easy stuff now. Remember back over here now. So we've gotten the tough part and we decoded the question and we translated it into nice equations, two of them. All right, now let's arithmetically, now we have to do a leftover is really just solving the equation. We have f minus four okay, is equal to four times p minus four. Obviously, from here, um, looking at this equation, what would make sense is substituting in this f equal to 3t back into this, and then we would have an equation, one equation with a variable of t in it. Okay, let's proceed. Let's push our little blackboard up a little bit so we can have a little more writing room right over here. Okay, so 3t minus 4. Now remember, I put the 3t, because f is equal to 3t, I put the 3t right into f, is equal to 4 times t minus 4. Let's open up all the bracket here. So on this side I have 4t minus 16. This side has basically 1 times this, so this bracket open up on its own. Nothing changes. Now next to what I want to do is I want to move all the variables to one side, all the numbers to one side. Does it matter which side? Not really. Uh, whichever one suits you fancy. Let's say I want to move the numbers onto this side. So I'm going to cancel this one and I have minus 12 on this side. Right? 4t and 3t. Now uh, my only choice is move the t out onto this side. So I'll subtract 4t on both sides. If you remember from earlier, we're treating the equal, equal sign here as, a, as, as of a balance act. I put a pivot point here. Whatever you do on this side, you have to do on that side. So here we go, we have a minus t equal to minus 12 divided by minus 1. So we have t equal to 12. Taylor is 12 years old. Okay. Since his father currently is three times older than Taylor, so his father is 36 years old. Okay, so we got our answer. Now, do not stop right over here. What happens next one is a very important step. Double check. Double check eliminates the chance of you being surprised after you hand in your homework or worse yet tests. You don't want to get surprised. So what we have is Taylor is 12 years old. His father is 36 years old. Okay. So currently, the three times check ratio comes out. His father is three times older. Now let's take a look what happens four years ago. Four years ago, Taylor is 12 minus 4, which is 8 years old, and his father is 36 minus 4, which is 32 years ago. And guess what? This is exactly four times older. Alright, so everything checked out. Have a confident day.